Welcome, and thank you for choosing On-Call Sure Blood Glucose Monitoring System. Please read the user's manual carefully before use. The video demonstrates the usage of the device. Getting started. Testing the blood glucose. Performing a quality control test. Checking the meter memory. And finally, the meter setup. Getting started. Clean your hands. Load the lancing device and mark the opening date on the vial. Cleaning your hands. Prior to testing, wash your hands with soap or wipe your hands with alcoholic swab. Then dry your hands thoroughly. Rub your fingers to encourage the blood flow. Loading the lancing device. Unscrew the lancing device cover and insert a new lancet firmly into the lancet holder. Twist the safety tab off. and screw the lancing device cover back. Adjust the depth of prick by rotating the lancing device cover. Pull the cocking barrel back until it clicks and the button indicator turns to orange. The device is now loaded and ready to take a prick. Marking the opening date on the vial. Mark the date on the vial during the first opening in order to avoid usage of expired strip. Testing the blood glucose. The system requires a very small unit of blood sample, which can be obtained either from the fingertip, palm, or forearm. To test your blood glucose, please follow these steps. Take a test strip out from the pack. If using a vial, then close the vial cap tightly. With the blue part of the strip facing toward you, insert the white end of the strip into the strip port and the meter will turn on. Note. Avoid touching the tip of the strip. The meter is ready for test only when the blinking symbol appears. Hold the lancing device against the side of the fingertip to be pricked. Press the release button to prick the fingertip. Gently rub the finger from the base to the tip to obtain the blood sample. Then remove the first drop and gently obtain a second one to conduct the test. Allow the blood sample to enter into the tip of the strip vertically. Once a sufficient sample is absorbed, the meter will count down from 5 to 1, and then show the result. After testing, you can also record the result in your logbook, and compare it to the target goals set by your healthcare provider. Push the strip dejector forward to discard the used test strip. Unscrew the lancing device cover, and insert the lancet into the safety tab. Slide the ejection button forward to discard the used lancet. Performing a quality control test. The quality control test confirms that the test strips and meter are working together properly and ensures that you are performing the test correctly. Three levels of control solution are available. Control solution 0, 1, and 2. Control solution 1 is quite adequate for most of the tests. For performing the test, please follow these steps. Mark the date on the vial during the first opening in order to avoid usage of expired control solution. Gently shake the control solution vial and keep it aside. Insert a test strip into the strip port to turn the meter on. The meter is ready for test only when the blinking symbol appears. Discard the first drop of control solution and use the second drop for the test on a clean non-absorbent surface, then close the bottle tightly. Allow the control solution to enter into the tip of the strip vertically once a sufficient sample is absorbed, the meter will count down from 5 to 1. Then show the result. Compare the result with control range given on the test strip vial or pouch and make sure it falls within the range. Push the strip ejector forward to discard the used test strip. Checking the meter memory. To enter memory mode, press the left button when the meter is off then the most recent value will display on the screen. 
Press the left or right button to review stored records. A hashtag sign indicates the record will be omitted from the average calculations. Press the OK button to review the result averages. Press the right button to review 7, 14, 30, 60, or 90 day averages. Press the OK button to switch off. Clearing the memory. Extreme caution to be taken when clearing the memory. As this is not a reversible operation with the meter in power off mode. Press and hold the left button for two seconds. Dell sign will display on the screen. Then press and hold the left and right buttons simultaneously for two seconds. The display will show mem and dashes, which means the memory is cleared. In case you accidentally enter the delete mode, but want to exit without deleting the recorded data, press the OK button to turn the meter off. Meter Setup Installing the battery Open the battery cover on the back of the meter and insert two new coin cell batteries. Make sure they are placed with the plus side facing you and then close the cover. Settings For first time use, the meter will automatically enter the setup mode. To reset up, please press the right button for two seconds to enter the setup mode again. Left and right buttons are used for adjusting. The OK button is used for confirming your selection. Clock mode. Press the left or right button to switch between 12 and 24 hour mode. Then press the OK button to save your choice. Date format. M, D, or D, M will appear at the top of the display to indicate either a month date year format or a date month year format. Press the left or right button to switch between the two settings. Then press the OK button to save your choice. Year, month, day, and time. Press the left or right to adjust the year. Press the OK button to save your choice. And then use the same steps to set the month, day, and time. Meal Marker, Beep, and Ketone Indicator Press the left or right button to switch the meal marker on and off. Press the OK button to confirm your selection. And then use the same steps to set the beep, ketone, hyper, hypo, indicators, and test reminder. Thanks for watching and choosing On Call Sure Blood Glucose Monitoring System.